A little bit of fun now. Our Racing Dreams tipping comp, of course, uh, it's not all that serious, but... Uh, there is starting, a lot on the line. It's starting <laughs> to get very, very competitive. I know. Week two. <laughs> Uh, well, in studio today we have the wonderful Mark Russell. Good morning to you, sir. Looking very sharp. Good morning. Thank As you always. very much. <laughs> of course. I see you've gone a, a mixture of youth and youth plus a couple of years. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, like a hosting panel. <laughs> <laughs> youth and experience. <laughs> And welcome to you, Nick Burney, as well. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you, Julie. Tim, um, it's good to get off the board there yeah. last week. So one from one, but hopefully you can go two from two uh, tomorrow. Well, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know, but we'll get to the leaderboard a little bit later. Um, so, so which way have you gone this week, Nick? Tell me. I'm going to go to Tamworth on Sunday. Oh, I'm going to be there tomorrow. I'm looking forward to going to Tamworth. Yeah, I'm mm. going to go to Tamworth. So Brett Kavanagh has a runner called Moore Sizzlack. So it's in race three. It's number two. And... Look, I just think he's ready to win. Um, his first up run, the market really told the story late there where it's a drifter in the, late in the Sister trade. Joseph. And we're going to pick him up here now on the vision. He's the horse in the black with the pink hat as well. And he just gets to the outside. And the leader really skipped on the turn over the 1,000 metres. So he gets out to 1,200 metres on Sunday. And I just like how he hits the line here. And the, his sectionals really backed it up. So he's strong through the line. Jeez. Gets out to run. 1,200 metres. Um, from an inside draw, I think he's going to be a cracking bet there on Sunday. And, yeah, hopefully he can win. And look at the margin there to third as well. So, really good time. Happy to be with him. Mm. Mm. Right. I've jotted that one down. <laughs> jotted that one down. All right, Mark, where have you gone with this one? I'm going with uh, a white-hot Nash Rewilla. He's on red resistance in uh, race four at Randwick. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know where he got the vision there. But yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll bring it up. Yeah, um, he's a horse that... He won his first two races uh, sensationally. He was favourite for the slipper. He then ran second to Cylinder. Now, Cylinder uh, is a four-time stakes winner. It's running in the new market today. And there you'll see running third behind them is Militarise. And they put three and a half lengths on, on Militarise, who's favourite for the Randwick Guineas today. So uh, he's had a tie-back operation, so he's been out for a year. His trials have been fantastic. And I can just picture him being on the speed and kicking over the rise and Nash just saying thank you very much. I'm going to a very difficult race today um, and I'm jotting down all your tips as well, so I'll have $2 each way, just friendly It's good to see you're not on the favourite, just quietly. No, 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 no. I'm going a little wider. Uh, I'm going with espionage. This is a really fascinating race, the Todman today. Uh, when you think of the Colts that are in this race... Switzerland and uh, obviously James Harron, who we're going to talk to, has got espionage and bodyguard. But uh, I know that Adrian Bott has a huge, huge um, opinion of espionage. So, um, yeah, I'm going espionage. What do you reckon, Nick? Yeah, I like espionage. I'm with you, Tim. And just that last couple of few bounds, what he did past the post, I think he just says he's going to come on from that. And the big difference for me is Rose to 1,100 metres to Randwick 1,200 metres, mm. completely different setup. So I like him. I'm with you. Well, I'm probably a little bit biased because I was at the Lesbridge Stables this week and so I'm going with Celestial Legend. It was so nice to see this guy in the flesh. He is like looking at Classique back in the early days. He's got that dark, dark grey about him. He hasn't filled out yet. He is still very much a baby. He's still quite lean. There's still a lot of growing to do with this guy, but he won that Hoville Butts. Hobartville Stakes uh, recently for Les. Lovely to see uh, just his second in 40 years between drinks for Les. Uh, he wasn't impressed when I reminded him of that four-decade gap there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's very confident about Celestial Legend and we have heard Les Bridge be confident before. I take you back to the 2020 Tab Everest when he all told us oh. all, yeah. this <laughs> horse of mine is going to win. And we all said, sure, Les, and look what happened. Yes, absolutely. Did he Celestial win? Legend. Did he win or what? <laughs> wow. Did he win? But it's just also lovely to see Les back at the track and back there with a little glimmer in his eye because uh, he loves this horse and we love to see Les doing well. All right, we'll watch to see whether Celestial Legend will uh, get the win today. Let's have a look at uh, our other team because there's eight of us, of course. There's mm -hmm. Mark, there's Nick, there's Julie, there's myself, but we have others. And Jules, do you want to take us through what uh, Kirsten and, and the other crew are going with, Isabella? OK, if I can read that from here, Kirsten has gone a race eight, number two at Randwick today. Can you tell me who that is, Nick? Because I can't quite see it from here. <laughs> it's um, a hard one. Still Marilyn, there you it's go. a Godolphin uh, two-year-old. 
a, a really nice filly. Um, Isabella, I do believe that she has gone with Militarise off the top of my head. She's gone with Militarise today to take out um, the Randwick Guineas ahead of Celestial Legend. And Ray, again, he, he's a risk taker, our Ray. Mm. Uh, he's, gone, <laughs> he's gone with <laughs> Private Eye in race six. Backfired last <laughs> week. And, 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 and Shane O'Cass is... Cha yeah, it did backfire. Shane O'Cass, of course, oh, is channeling a little bit of Kevin Costner there with uh, Dances with Hooves. <laughs> Uh, that'll be in Tamworth, race one, number 12. So we've got a couple of tips in Tamworth. I'm looking forward to getting out to the country championships tomorrow. That'll be great. Uh, it's a great town, Tamworth. Now, here's the leaderboard. Let's have a look at it. I luckily got a victory with Storm Boy. I think Storm Boy was four when it jumped. Um, <laughs> Winks <laughs> of Julie, Julie bom -bom, Shane bom -bom, Kirsten, Nick uh, had wins. Mark, well, uh, this week, Isabella had a win and Ray. So it's sort of... It's even, Stephen, but it's very early on. No, no premierships are won at this stage of Racing Dreams. Uh, yeah. A lot is on the line, though. <laughs> um, I am a little bit nervous, but I would like to say that Ray did go with a favourite last week in Fangirl, so that was probably the upset. Um, There's a thousand metres to go, yes. So, so Holding you, you mind. are you competitive, Mark, as, a, as an individual? You grew Absolutely. Up with a I mean, that embarrasses me, that board. Get rid of it. <laughs> Don't show it again until I get one. <laughs> it's all right. We've got Shane O'Cass in the tipping cop. He's not notoriously <laughs> great with his tips. Yeah, he said if he must hold a couple in his pocket. But, uh, he, he does come up with some beauties. But, um, great yeah. journal, though. Thanks for joining us. We'll see what happens with that one. All right, boys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon, Nick. Sounds and good. Love Cheers. Thank you, guys.